Hey, welcome back. Hello, we're back. Transport bandits are on the road again. And we have the fun side of RV transport with a little bit of information thrown in there. <laughs> a little bit. Sturgis was a blast. Uh, I want to give a special thanks to Synergy for putting up with us being gone. Yeah, thanks Synergy. We appreciate it for letting us have that time off. And just let everybody know at Synergy at the offices. I'm on my way up there. We're back. We're going to haul like bandits. We are headed to um, up to Goshen and we're going to be picking up a load to Newfoundland. So all of you who have been patiently waiting for a new Transport Bandit video, thank you very much. It's going to be a good one, the Newfoundland video. We'll be on the ferry again, 10 hours each way. That means I've been on the ferry for 40 hours. That's a work week. Right. 40 um, hours? Where do you get 40 hours? Well, we were on it for 10 and 10 and then 10 and 10. That's 40. Okay. All together. Yeah. That's a work week. We have a lot of time on, on the ferry. That on <laughs> ship. Well. Wait no, wait a That's a work week on ship. All right. I think I, I can. Think so. I think that qualifies me to renew my pirate license. I think so. Because I did marry a pirate. At least he's a bandit. But I got something exciting to tell you guys, all right? What? It's gonna be a Newfoundland video. That means we're gonna to get to take the ferry again, all right? So we're gonna be on the dock. And while we're there, I'm gonna to try to get some footage of Cheryl on the dock in her natural environment. What? <laughs> in my natural environment? Yeah. <laughs> on the docks? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just sitting on the docks. Sitting on the dock of the bay. No. Okay. No, it's not more. No, it's more like. No. Nah. <laughs> I'm not working the docks. Waiting for the sailors to come in. That's where I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's it. Oh, brother. Here we go. Okay, so stay tuned for our footage of our trip to Newfoundland and back. That's right, it's gonna be exciting, man. We got border crossings, we got ferries. Um, there's weird animals up there. <laughs> weird animals? Yeah, we get to come back. Maybe we'll see the caribou. Yeah, and of course, we'll have to go on a, a lobster hunt. Lobster, okay. yay. We come back through Maine. All right, so stay tuned. We got some great videos for you coming right up. But stay tuned to this video and I don't know. Stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, just keep watching. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe. Watch. <laughs> Watch it. Okay, so we will catch you on the flip side. All We're right. headed to Goshen right now. See y'all guys later. And remember, this is your channel. So comment. Let us know what you like and what you don't like. Welcome back, guys. Glad to be here. See you guys. Right up. What do we got here, Cheryl? We got a 30 foot Aspen Trail going to Cornerbrook, Newfoundland. All right. I'm saying it correctly, Newfoundland. I call it Newfoundland. Really, fa really fast, Newfoundland. I call it Newfoundland because it's Newfoundland. Okay. okay, so we have done all of our hookups. We've completed all of our hookup process. Now we have to go through the Newfoundland Trail. Alright. So come on, to the Finland with me. All right, let's go to Newfoundland. <laughs> Newfoundland, Newfoundland. All right. Okay, but before we get rolling on to Newfoundland, we come up here 20 miles from Goshen, where we hooked up our camper. The Dan. Dan Service Center. Need something small. Very small. I spy with my little eye. Bulb fuses. Fuses and bulb kit. All right. They do a great job on here. Let's go pick some of those up. Here we are, Sam's service. This is where you want to come. If you need anything at all for RV transport, this is where you come to get it. Well, they're outside taking care of customers because they will take care of you here at Dan Service Center. They have always taken good care of us, have everything that you could possibly need or want. And for more. RV transport. And more. Alright, let's get our bolt. Let's 
Okay, Ryan hooking them up with our bolts and fuses. Check them out. Stan Service Center in Elk Park, Indiana. Hey, we got the original Dan of Dan Service Center here checking us out to see if we are all good and correct. Hey, we're back in Sturgis. Yeehaw! Oh, wait. Um, that's Sturgis, Michigan? Yeah. Not quite as exciting. Sorry. Tonight. So we're going to get to visit with um, Steve or Fatback and he is parked all the way back yonder. I can't see where I'm pointing at because the sun is in my eyes. But we're going to go see it, say hello to him now and have a dinner at Denny's. Alright, this is Fatback truck, 2014 Peterbilt. Good looking truck. What's up, guys? Hey, there's Steve, our favorite cousin, Fat Fat, in the big Peterbilt. Just crawling back here. Probably got a little more room than we have in our Ford F-350. Looks nice. We got blue lights too. Very cool. Wow. All right, what do you think, Jeff? Should we upgrade the F-350 for the at Peterbilt? Uh, maybe Pretty luxury. Look at this. Where's that, your, I got a refrigerator. A, I can put me a that microwave right there. Huh? That would run your hair dryer. That would run my hair dryer. What do you think you put a lot of microwave on? That's what I need to get. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get me a microwave. I'd like to get me a bigger TV eventually. Yeah. Not much bigger, but yeah, just a little. You'd be amazed at some of the places you're in at the channel that thing will pick up. This is awesome. It's so glad to see you, Steve. It's great to see you. Say hi there. everybody who are Transport Bandits fans. This is our favorite cousin, Stephen Arnold. Hello everybody. How do you? how are you? <laughs> Good catch. <laughs> traveling on I-90 uh, across the state of New York on our way to Newfoundland. New York is stupid. <laughs> Don't say that. We may have New York fans. I apologize to you. I feel sorry for you. New if you live stupid. in New York and you're watching my videos, New York is stupid. <laughs> well, one thing about traveling through the state of New York as an RV transporter we have to not only fill out our regular log books, but we have to fill out a special log for just for the state of New York. 
because they're stupid. <laughs> but it says the exact date that we're traveling through New York. It's got the state. You have to start with your beginning odometer when you hit the state line. You have to fill out your ending odometer when you get to the end of I-90 on the other side of New York. And your total miles, your toll miles, your route you're traveling on, and if you've purchased any fuel. So, along with that, that's all part of the New York Hut HUT yeah, We gotta have this sticker. too. Gotta have Which this. Is stupid. Okay, so, we're gonna finish traveling our 300 miles across the state of New York and into Massachusetts today. So, we're not getting off, and uh, it's a beautiful day. And it's a great day to travel the interstate of New York, which is stupid. <laughs> Look, I got a lot of friends in New York. They all agree with me. <laughs> Bye. It. See you down the road. Bye. And in the distance, we have the Great Lake. This is the Great uh, Lake. Uh, which lake is that, Jeff? It's, uh, I think it's the Erie Lake. You know, which one, which one is the scary one, lake? I think that's the scary lake. So the uh, Lake uh, Lake Erie, that's it. It's Erie. Oh, Halloween is coming up. This is what we call a dragon bridge. I don't know why. Jeff has always called them just dragon bridges. We're still in New York. Still. How are we going to get out of We have to get out of New York. Keep driving. East. Keep driving. I gotta get out of New York. I can't keep paying $12, $15 for a Big Mac. Oh my gosh, the service plaza. Jeff got a service plaza Big Mac. $12 for a Big Mac meal. And it was awful. It was actually $12.94. Thank goodness I did not get anything to eat because I refused to pay that much for a crappy Big Mac, which is my least favorite combination meal ever. Yeah, it's terrible. All right, let's try and get out of New York. Okay, we've made it out of New York. Fantastic! Mr. Bones is so hot, he's steaming up the windows. Looks like it's going to be raining, pouring. We expect puppies and kittens any minute now because it's raining cats and dogs outside and it looks like it's gonna be doing that for the rest of the evening. Okay, we're coming into Portland, Maine area. And uh, we stayed in Kittery, Maine last night. And we're headed up towards Holton, Maine. That's where we'll do our border crossing today. And then we'll go into New Brunswick. Now they are forecasting a category, right now it's a category one, it could cut, go up to a category three hurricane to hit Newfoundland this evening. But we don't have to deliver until Monday and today is Friday. So we should be okay as long as we can stay clear of those wind gusts. So we'll see what we can do. Okay, we're about uh, 20 minutes from the main New Brunswick, Canada border. And uh, we've got a little bit of a situation going on with the, our delivery to Newfoundland. We have a hurricane between us. Hurricane Larry. And our delivery point. Uh, take it's a look. coming right into the bay. It's going, it's ridiculous. Yeah, take a look at this picture. Now this but. is Hurricane Larry is supposed to hit um, Newfoundland tonight, which is good for us because we're not there yet. 
But we have a situation because we are to take the ferry. And the ferry will get backed up from drivers waiting to get over there. If they so, close down the ferry. So we may be there in a couple of days. Um, a couple of days, because they won't run the ferry tonight, and they may not run the ferry tomorrow. We don't know. Just Commercial drivers at the ferry are first come, first serve. So whoever's gotten to the ferry dock the first, with all the big massive semi-trucks and cargo trucks and commercial vehicles like ourselves, uh, that whoever's there first is the first to get on the next boat out. That leaves us in a bit of a quandary. If we wait until hey, chinchilla, Mike. If we wait until Monday, uh, we're just supposed to deliver on Monday. So if we wait until to take the Sunday night ferry, that means everybody who didn't get on the ferry Friday night, and if they don't run the ferries Saturday night. We may be sitting at the dock waiting to get on a ferry. It may be Tuesday or Wednesday. So we're just going to play it by ear. We'll stay as soon as it gets dark in New Brunswick somewhere tonight. And make it on over towards the ferry tomorrow if the winds aren't too bad from the hurricane. Because the hurricane is pretty awful. And uh, if we, if it's not over 25 miles an hour, we'll make it to the ferry dock and get in line for the next ferry to Newfoundland when the ferry start. And we'll just get there when we get there. Okay, we're coming up to the New Brunswick, Canada border crossing from Holton, Maine. We just stopped and got all our fuel before entering Canada because we don't know how long we're going to be there with this hurricane thing coming. We are entering another time zone, which is the Atlantic time zone, an hour ahead of Eastern time zone. And uh, I've got to put the video away. Mr. Bones has got his passport out, and we're ready to go. Put our mask on. Oh, we got to do our masks. Yeah, don't forget your mask. All right, there's the duty-free station over there. Everything that we have in our truck right now has duty on it. So, <laughs> okay, wish us luck. We're through. That was easy. Just showed them our passports. Welcome to New Brunswick. And uh, all we did was show them our passport and our man Canadian manifest. And that's all we had to do. Very easy this time. No criminal checks. We didn't have to go in and get patted down. No rubber gloves. No, um, no questions about whether Charles a driver. So very easy this time. Okay, let's head on to Moncton, New Brunswick, which will be our destination for tonight. And uh, keep a check on that hurricane. And we're going to be on the lookout for swamp donkeys. That's right. Swamp donkeys. Okay, so you know what a swamp donkey is, right? That's not a swamp donkey. It's, it's delicious. <laughs> Peanut butter, chocolate, rice, crispy, three. Um, so, a swamp donkey is a moose, we have found out. That's an urban slang for moose, and I love it. Swamp donkey. Alright, let's look for some swamp donkeys. Um, we didn't realize we had an illegal immigrant with us as we crossed the border. Um, yeah, that's a moose car comparison. Okay, they're big. We get it. Glad right, I'm in the truck. Okay, I think we're going to stop for the evening sometime before that uh, gets to us. So, um, probably going to stop in Moncton, New Brunswick, and wait out the hurricane there, because uh, I believe that big cloud that you just seen coming up over this hill is uh, probably one of the very first vestiges of the outer side of the hurricane. And here is uh, a better look at that cloud. Uh, I don't know what that is, but it, it doesn't look pretty. We should be concerned about it. We're going to stop here for the evening 
at the Irving Big Stop right before we get to Moncton, New Brunswick. Yep, great parking lot. Check it out, I've never seen this it before. It's a mobile trans, it's a mobile chapel. Transport for Christ. Oh, I like that, that's cool. Here at the Irving Big Stop. We're gonna go check this out. We got a great parking spot for the evening. Beautiful right now tonight, but uh, there in the future, in the head of us, it's getting pretty dark with that hurricane thing coming on. So we're gonna camp out here tonight and uh, check it out what the weather looks like tomorrow. So good night all. Look at the sign. Welcome professional drivers. That's us. And this is the star. Very nice. Here in Salisbury, New Brunswick. They even have a uh, restaurant called the Silver Fox. So it's a really nice stop here. We have a subway here. laundry room. Here is the trucker's lounge. Very nice. Hey, check out this keychain. Can you see it? Yep. It's, each one is made specifically for that shower room. It's really heavy. That's a great key for a shower. It's That's pretty good. cool. They spent a lot of money on just the keychain. <laughs> Let's see how the shower is. Check out their showers at the Irving Big Stop. All right, this is what a shower looks like at the trucker shower at the Irving Big Stop. You get towels. Yeah, it's a pretty nice shower. Pretty nice shower room. So, you're gonna get clean. Yeah. And I'm gonna go clean the truck. Get out of here. Get out of here, bye. Good morning. Okay, Good morning. we made it uh, through the hurricane or non-hurricane, whatever you want to call it. Since yeah, we, we were we stopped well out of the way of the hurricane. Yeah, we stopped in uh, Salisbury at the Big Irving in Salisbury, New Brunswick last night. Well, it really wasn't well out of the way of hurricane. We went right up to the edge of it and then stopped. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we had no residual effects of the hurricane, but it's it was. Past, uh, if we had gone 20 more miles, we would have been in, it caught some wind, right? Right. Uh, but uh, today, good morning. It's a beautiful morning in New Brunswick. Um, we are within a few miles of passing into Nova Scotia today. We're going to try and make it to the ferry. Uh, we checked the ferry schedule and they had... Um, canceled they, last night and canceled this morning. So there are two loads probably of other commercial vehicles in uh, front of us bus. that are waiting to get on the next available ferry. Maybe. So, we don't know. Yeah, we don't know how that works. So we're going to get on down to the ferry docks in Nova Scotia and uh, see what happens. So stay tuned. Hey guys, you know I've been, I was watching Fire Winds videos the other night and I caught on to something that, that he's exactly right about. There is a lot of negativity in this industry, and um, he's right about some of the YouTube videos out there. And um, in case you haven't noticed, we we decided not to do that right off the bat. So yeah, he's exactly right about that. There's too much negativity. I even heard one guy say that the on YouTube that the. RV industry is specifically designed to destroy your truck. Well, that's not true. You know when you sign up, the job is driving and hauling RVs. Your truck 
is a tool. And, you know, tools wear out. That's just the way it is. So, that's one reason why we, or why I, personally, like to show the fun side of it, you know? What about you, sure? It's the fun side of RV transport right here. Yeah, I'll try to give you guys some information. We try to stay upbeat. As you can tell, I'm... Very upbeat. <laughs> I'm, 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 as you can tell, most of the time, I'm so excited that I can barely contain myself. <laughs> right, girl? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jeff is uh, over brimming with excitement. I mean, I'm just jumping. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's his shirt. <laughs> yep. Okay. But trust me, even if I don't appear to be excited, he is. I, I am. He's always excited. He's yeah. just a bubble of happiness. Energy from one point to another. <laughs> from his hat down to his toes. Exactly. Okay. Let's take all that energy and head towards Nova Scotia. That's right. We're on our way. So, in summary, is there some negatives to this job? Sure. But you can say that about anything. Is there negatives about going to Disneyland? Yeah. <laughs> is there negatives, you know, about anything in life? Sure they are. But we don't focus on that. On this channel, we're going to focus on the fun side of RV transport. Because that's what we do. And if you liked this video or liked any of our other videos, because some of our other videos are probably way better than this video. Right. What so, do you want to do? What do you want to tell them to do, Jeff? Subscribe. If you haven't already. And, and if you, you have. And, uh, uh, if you don't care, like it. Yeah, press that little like button. And if you don't like it, just press the like button and go away. Now, in summary, we're going to stay positive. This has been a great job and a good opportunity. And Synergy has been great to work with. Yeah, we love we love so, the um, company Synergy. And we, you know what? Another great So there group. you go is uh, the RV Transporter Group on Facebook, uh, RV Transporters Group Forum. Mm -hmm. Great place to get gr good information and you can check, check in with all your buddies, your friends that are out there also transporting all over the country. You know, they just post things now, on there, where they're at, what they're doing. I have to give a fair warning here, all right? What's that? If you go on the Transporter Forum and you ask a dumb question, oh, you're going to get a dumb You're going to get slammed. All right, like so, like if you ask what a fifth wheel is, <laughs> you know. What's the difference between a fifth wheel and a, a uh, gooseneck? And a gooseneck. Um, Somebody's going to give you a photograph of a goose's neck. <laughs> and somebody and may somebody give you. Somebody's going to give you a photograph of five wheels, <laughs> <laughs> and with an arrow drawn to one of them, saying this is the fifth. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you know, we always keep it lighthearted. We love all the other uh, jibs and jabs on the transporter group. You know, we always rim each other a little bit. But it's all, as long as you keep a good positive attitude, everybody takes that well. Don't get upset. Don't take life too seriously. Life's too right. short to take seriously. Oh, Don't as do you it. know, we were headed towards the, oh, I got one more thing to say. All right. As you know, we were headed towards the hurricane. Yeah. So I called Synergy and talked to them about it and told them we may be... We may be a couple days late on delivery. And they said it doesn't matter. Do whatever it takes. Stay safe. Stay safe. That's the number so, one rule you know, in RV transport. You keep that trailer safe, you keep yourself safe. That's great. You can't ask for more than that. So we'll just meander towards Newfoundland. 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 It's Newfoundland. All right, continue because to watch. It, they call it Newfoundland because it's recently found land. Well, what if I want to go to Old Foundland? Well, then you would go to like Salem, Massachusetts. The Salem, Massachusetts. Yeah. That's his old Foundland. Yeah, they found that a long time ago. All right. Okay, so we're headed to Newfoundland. Newfoundland. What you eating, Jeff?
Peanut butter. Peanut butter. It is getting close to Halloween. Don't forget the peanut butter. Peanut yeah, that's butter what we got here. Very healthy Star Crunch. Breakfast of Champions apple pies. Don't put down Star Crunch. They're out of this world. Oh wait, we also have an entire bag of Rice Krispie treats. This is getting better and better by the second. What else is in our bag? Goodies. Oh, honey barbecue potato chips. Can't miss out on those. And of course, you always have to have your jar. But I think that covers everything. Whoop, we got one more thing of survival gear. Just can't live without cheese, peanut butter crackers. Okay, so we've got everything we need to survive in the wilderness, transport bandit style. Okay, we're coming up on the Nova Scotia Line. on the Canzo Causeway, which will lead over to the smaller island of uh, Nova Scotia, where the really interesting, fun uh, part of Nova Scotia Drive is. hopping now. Kokoma. Oh, they got a big chair there. There's a big chair for the big man. And uh, they have ice cream, burgers, and milkshakes there. And there's a lumber garden.
we're coming into North Sydney in about 18 more miles. We're near the ferry terminal now. Ferries are over there. We've made it to the ferry terminal. We have a few vehicles in front of us where we will purchase our ferry ticket with our cabin. Uh, we don't know how long this will take or how long we will be here. We are here in the dock and this is lane 14, which we were directed to come to. Uh, there's the ferries there. There's one leaving at 6 tonight. It is now 3.30 and one leaving at, what did she say, 11.30 or 12? Uh, so we'll see which one we get on. I'm going to go over here to the ferry terminal. Okay, we're here inside the terminal at the, uh, in North Sydney, Nova Scotia. And we've accomplished our mission. We had to pick up a special package from another transporter who left something here in the terminal last time and our dispatcher told us if we could, we could pick it up for them and bring it back to the office. So we're doing our good deed. Here it is. We've got it. Ready for you, transporter who left it here at the North Sydney Good deed done. Okay, Jeff, what did we get? We ended up going to the Keys, which is... Uh, Right across the terminal there, beside Tim Hortons and Subway, just on the outside. Jeff got some lasagna. Lasagna. And we got a pizza. So let's eat up and then see if we can make this uh, this ferry that's leaving out at six o'clock. Hey, by a miracle, we made it onto this ship. Made it onto the ferry. Last minute. Awesome. So we are on our way after we board here. Newfoundland. We made it on board. We have a window cabin. Last yeah, we minute. We were like the one, the, the last two things that they boarded. They came over to us and said that they could fit us on. We have a window cabin. This is our view. We're going to go out and show you around the ship. And uh, take a look at our cabin. Turn around, Jeff. Not too shabby. There's our bathroom. Check out the ship. It's going to be cool. As you can see, they got all the regular cars in the front. We're all the way in the back this time. And if you look this way, you'll see we've got life rafts. Hopefully, we're not going to need those. Okay, as you can see by this light, like this may appear to be a big night nice ship, but they don't keep it pristine like they do cruise ships. I gotta tell you. Let's take a little stroll on the deck here. We've not been able to do this before. I'll give you a little tour. We've got a bunch of birds over here. The <laughs> seabirds. <laughs> Those are cormorants. I don't know what they're doing. I think they're cormorants. Anybody know what kind of birds they are? Okay, so we have determined that there is some kind of duck. <laughs> They're shags. 
Wait, wait, what is it? These ladies inform me that these birds are shags. <laughs> Filming the shag. Filming the shag. And now we're off to you exclusively by Transport Bandits. We're going to give you an exclusive look. Sneak peek at the bridge. There it is. Very exciting, isn't it? We're up here on the top deck, or this deck is specially designed for um, Mr. Dimples. Let's go check out the other side. Basque and it was only a five hour crossing which is they pretty much raced across the ocean so uh, not much sleep for us it's only quarter to one in the morning and uh, we don't want to cross Newfoundland when it is full of moose in the middle of the night okay we're off the ferry but we have the ferry to catch on the return trip, so uh, stay tuned for that. And we are just going to get off the ferry dock here and um, find our way out and try to find a place to sleep for the evening. Hey, so we got off the ferry. We had to drive about 50 miles up here to this Crab, strange, Crabs River restaurant. Yeah, it's like the Blair Witch Project in here. <laughs> it is very dark in Newfoundland. Um, the stars are beautiful. And uh, we're I mean, at... Just by the looks of things, it's like the Blair Witch Project <laughs> in here. Um, we're parked outside um, a kind of a defunct Irving place. Uh, there is one other truck parked here. Or it may be like that movie where Cloverfield. <laughs> I'm more scared of a Bigfoot coming out of the woods over here. Exactly. Like Cloverfield, okay. like that monster. Yeah, yeah, no, don't make me any more crazy than I already am about stopping here. I, we don't really want to continue on. Uh, it's a very high moose population here. Even though we dark. haven't seen any, it's very dark. It's very very dark and we're going to call it a night and uh, head up to Corner Brook tomorrow. So, um, we'll talk to you in the morning if we're still alive. <laughs> if we're still alive. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to get a good night's sleep now. Good night. Good night. Okay, I'm outside of the truck in the creepy area known as Crabs River, Newfoundland. And, uh, this is where we're going to park for the evening. And, uh, hopefully not get murdered. It's pretty dark out here. So uh, we're locking everything up good and tight. And, uh, wish us the best. If you never hear from us again, we're at Crabs River, Newfoundland. 
Crabs River. All right, good morning. Guess what? We didn't get killed. I don't know about Mr. Bones. Yeah, uh, he's dead. Okay, now you can see that this is our camper. And this is where we stayed. There are several people here now. And um, we've got the Irving is open, the restaurant's open. Uh, it looks different during the day, but as you can tell, we are in the wilderness. And uh, these woods next to us, no Bigfoot, no moose. This is a uh, wilderness here in Newfoundland. Quite a bit of it, even though it's an island. Gus may have met his match. <laughs> awesome. We are in Corner Brook, Newfoundland at the historic train site. And this is the snow plow here in Corner Brook. lady over at Tim Hortons where we were going to go to because everything's closed here on Sunday. She said it was delicious. She actually said it was deadly. Yeah, but she's also a super cranky. <laughs> so I don't know how trustworthy that information is. All right, so we're going to try the fish and chip here at Aromas Plus. And this is what Aromas Plus looks like at a two o'clock on a yes. Sunday here in Corner Brook. Um, yeah, we'll see. All right. This is called a chocolate eruption. The woman who lied to me about the fish and chips also told me about this. I'll try it. What did she lie about on the fish and chips? Jeff asked him if it was good. She said yes. He said, are you lying? She said, I do lie, but not about the fish and chips. So she should be lying about not lying. <laughs> I don't think so. This is called chocolate eruption, and we're having this for our appetizer. Right. Here it is, fish and chips. That is cod, and it looks delicious. Yeah. What's the verdict? Very good. No 
Our waitress may be an admitted liar, but she didn't lie to me about this. It's good. It's very good. Okay, so we just left the Romas Plus in Corner Brook. We still got about an hour before we can check into the hotel. So we are headed to Sightsee along the coast here in Newfoundland, out hum Humbar Arm, and go to Blow Me Down Provincial Park. Sounds piratey, doesn't it? Arr. going dipping then. Ah, we've got a whale or a dolphin or something. All right, this is amazing. All right. We've got wildlife. We have wildlife. There's a whale or a dolphin or a sea monster or a kraken or something <laughs> right here. We have a sea monster right here. Mr. Bones over here to the Gulf of St. Lawrence on the western side of Newfoundland, which is beautiful. on points and uh, we're going to leave this part right here until the morning and uh, we will deliver to um, our dealership first thing in the morning and then head back to the fair. Okay, 
Um, Western Motorsports is right here. That's Marble Water. Right? And we will deliver right here this morning. Good morning, everybody. Pretty cool dealership up here in Newfoundland. Service. Really cute. Okay, we made it here to Corner Brook this morning. We are dropping off right now. They're inspecting it. So we're here at Western Motorsport. Uh, the guy inspecting it doesn't seem like he's had it. We made our delivery in Cornerbrook. Yep, it went very smooth. It was um, probably the most un, what would you say, amount of communication between delivery that we've ever done and us. Yeah, there was no communication. Um, I went in, I said, I'm, we're Cheryl and Jeff Arnold delivering for Synergy and we have a camper for you. Where would you like it? He told us where we could park it. He said, I'll be out in a minute. He came out, um, asked if the battery was still hooked up. We said, yes, sir. Uh, he went in, he looked around, he came back and he said, I'll have your papers inside. So I went back in and uh, he said, here's the papers. I signed the papers and we left. So very Double quick, in. very efficient. Um, not the most, uh, what would you say, conversationalist <laughs> that yeah, they were. Yeah, the guy definitely had a bad bowl of Cheerios. <laughs> you think he had a bad bowl of Cheerios? Yeah, that's what they eat here. <laughs> they eat Cheerios here? In Oh, and last night we had a wonderful dinner at our hotel um, there in Corner Brook, and we just talked for hours with uh, other with Newfoundlanders. New Newfoundlanders. And they schooled us on how to say Newfoundland. And, and that's how you say it. Newfoundland. Newfoundland. And uh, so we uh, got that down pat, so you don't have to listen to our southern Newfoundland thing anymore. Newfoundland. 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 Okay. <laughs> and we're still not sure Cheryl, if we got it correctly. Cheryl <laughs> thinks she says it correctly, but she doesn't. All right. How do you say it? Newfoundland. Newfoundland. Yeah. New Newfies. Yeah. All right. We know that they're Newfies. And because we had been screeched in on the last Newfoundland, 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 <laughs> Newfoundland, Newfoundland, Newfoundland. Um, on our last trip up here, we have been screeched in. They loved that. They were all like, oh, you're one of us now and all yeah. that. And you know, they get a big kick out of our accents, I'm sure. Y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs> and uh, we had a good time with that last night. Yeah. But anyway, we are now on our way back to the ferry port. On a side note, if I may. If you may. I had two great fish dinners while I was here. Yeah, we had fish Both of them was cod, but they were both fantastic, even though they were slightly different. But they were both good. Um, mind you, it's not a steak. Not a steak. But, we gotta get back for steak and lobster. But I will find a steak eventually. <laughs> yeah. Right now, I've got one more seafoody fish type dinner planned. Yeah, we need to find a lobster pound in Maine, so that'll probably come up on uh, either at the end of this video or the next video. Probably the end of this video. Yeah, we'll probably do the Maine on this video. Yeah. Too. Okay, so stay with us. Stay tuned. We're going to probably sit all day waiting for the ferry uh, in Porta Basque, Newfoundland. <laughs> stay it fast. Newfoundland. Um, all right, so... Um, Check out the scenery between Corner Brook and Porta Basque. Yeah, it's wilderness.
since we had time and there's nobody waiting in line for the ferry and we don't leave on the ferry till tonight we're going to come and explore the town of Channel Porto Basque and check this out. lighthouse at Porta Basque and there's no way to get to the lighthouse unless you just take the boat over to it. Beautiful little town. Not really much to see here though like stores or they don't expect many tourists or anything like that. Alright. Okay, we're in lane number 17. Since it is so early and the ferry doesn't leave until midnight, uh, it looks like we are the first, second person here. Actually, we're the second person here. This person has a camper and uh, nobody else is in line for the ferry. So we're gonna get some work done while we just sit here and wait. to board in our cabin. Here's our little cabin on the ferry. What you doing there, Dimples? Um, relax. This is our cabin. And we're on a smaller um, boat, ship, whatever you call this right now. Uh, it would have two fold-down bunks at the top if you wanted to add extra people here. TV is right here. Um, and then you have your bed with your bedding and towels and pillows little stool right there, um, throw up bags, oh, yeah. Demonstra demonstrate your throw up bag. Not quite so vividly. <laughs> Um, I don't want you to be my plane stewardess, okay? <laughs> and here we are. I'm sorry, I'm laughing. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm gonna choke to death. Now I need to throw up back. <laughs> okay, so here's our toilet. And you have your little wastebasket, toilet paper, a plunger in case you have a very thick accident. And um, yeah, there's the mirror. Say hi. Hey. And uh, here's your shower. You need to hurry up because I need to utilize this room. You need to utilize this room? Yeah. And what do we got there? Um, no hands, uh, cups, bottles of wine, or... or no, that looks like maybe ice cream or, or whipped cream? Uh, I don't know. What, what is this right here? What is this? <laughs> what exactly is this? Did somebody tell me what this is? So we won't put any of that in the toilet. Okay. All right. This is our cabin. Let's go look at the ship. Okay. Let's go um, explore the ship. We have to wear a mask. Oh, my mask. Okay. The uh, lifeboat. That says shat. Shat. What is that? Shat parting. Go. That says Shat Party. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm not going there. Okay. 
Now, if you don't get a berth, you can get a seat. Um, and they've got nice places to sit here. Look, they've got television, nice lounge area. Here is the Barista Pronto. Yeah, no. Washrooms and toilet teas. There's the fans. And there's the homies. I'm a homie. <laughs> and I'm a fan. Alright, let's check it out. This one isn't quite as big as the MV Atlantic Vision that we came over on, but it's very nice. Alright, I've been requested to speak some French. I'm going to now. Thank you. Thank you. He ships. There you go. Okay, we are on the MV Blue Pooties. Is that what that says? Oh, uh, well, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> okay, and then you have your snacks here that you can purchase. Pizza. Okay, this is a view of Port of Basque where we drove around today. And that's over there is where we parked and we did a live show from right there tonight and then we right after our live show we came around and came up through there and right onto this deck and Gus is parked up underneath there. We're leaving Newfoundland. Newfoundland. Goodbye Newfoundland. We'll be back. I'm positive of it. Okay, I'm looking out the window at the ocean. If you can see, um, and uh, I think that's a UFO out at sea. You know, of course, it's going to be blurry because there are no crisp, clear UFO pictures. Try and zoom in. Um, yes, that's definitely a UFO. Okay, we're back in our cabin and we're going to say goodnight now. And, I got uh, myself a Coca-Cola and some type of muffin. Some type of Newfoundland muffin. Yes, Alright, so we're saying goodnight. We'll see you in the morning when we get to the other side of this port of channel or whatever you call this. What are we crossing? The Strait of something or other? I don't know. It's big. It's big. It'll take us six hours to get across it and we will land in Nova Scotia in the morning. I will be real rested. I'm going to eat this muffin and take a sleep. I'm going to go sleep. See you in the morning. Good night. Good night. Okay, we've made it back to Nova Scotia. We'll be disembarking the ferry and headed to Calais, Maine today. Should take us about seven and a half hours. Mr. Bones had a good night on the dash of the truck down here on deck number five. We'll be exiting the ferry now.
track across the Kanzo Causeway. Okay, so we have stopped at a Nova Scotian McDonald's uh, for breakfast, mm -hmm. and um, we got our we got our egg McMuffins. Okay, and. Um, they have included, instead of packets of ketchup, salsa. Salsa. Salsa? Nah. Salsa? Are Luckily, you kidding me? Fortunately, <laughs> I have ketchup. <laughs> okay, bye. So we are coming up to the U.S. border out of New Brunswick. Okay, we're back. Back, Back in, in America. America. All right, we'll keep our day job. So. <laughs> Back in America. <laughs> okay, so we're in Calais, Maine, is how you pronounce it. Uh, we're learning how to pronounce all these new words. Calais, terms. isn't it? No, it's Calais. He said, "Don't pronounce it Calais." Wow. It's he said, "Pronounce it Calais." Calais. I Maine. thought he said, don't so call it Calais, call it Calais. No, we called it Calais, and he said, don't call it Calais, call it Calais. All right, whatever. All right, we'll get it straight one of these days. Who I'll cares? call it something down there to somebody and see if they get mad or not. <laughs> okay, so we're going to um, cruise a little bit down through Maine, try and find us a lobster. Hey, Mr. Bones, we are back in America. Hey guys, we found the lobster pound. We found us a lobster pound here in Trenton, Maine. It's near Bar Harbor. We're gonna go get us a lobster. Hopefully they will have steak or fish for me. <laughs> we'll check it out. Got the lobster pots boiling right now. Hey, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Why do they call these the lobster Why? Because years ago they used to take like a little pole out of the ocean, block that lid off, and they put the lobsters in there in the fall, and then get them in the spring. They call them lobster pound. That's the lobster yeah. pound. Oh, you oh. pounded the lobster. Pounded the lobster. Cool. Okay, right. we get it now. Thank you. All right, let's go get some. You got it in there right now? Oh, oh there hey. it is. Hold on, let me get on the other side. Look at those babies. Oh, yeah. Yum. All right, let's go eat. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Make you hungry. All right, there's Cheryl's lobster. Right there, he looks like a dandy. <laughs> and he's going to go in the pot. There he goes. Now, how long does he stay in that water? 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Yeah. All right. Take him out and crack him and serve him. You what? Take him out and crack him and serve him. All right. So here in about 15 minutes, we ought to have some good lobster. Okay, so we're inside. We're waiting on our lobster. I'm getting the lobster dinner today. The haddock. And um, what's great about this, if you watch our main video, Transport Management in Maine, um, you saw me try to snuggle with a lobster, cracking it open, because I don't know how. But this place, what they have, they have actual instructions for me to follow. So, I'm keeping this. Ready. Here are some lobster fun facts. All right, let's hear them. Okay, lobsters can live up to a hundred years old. I don't believe that. Truth. Okay, lobster fun fact number two. During colonial days, lobsters were plentiful and were the food for the poor. I don't believe that either. <laughs> 
fun fact number three, lobster's brain is in its throat. And they taste with their feet. I don't believe that either. <laughs> Lobster fun fact number four. Lobsters are a great source of heart-healthy omega-3 fatty acid. Okay, I believe that. Got that. Lobster fun fact number five. Three and a half ounces of lobster is only 96 calories and about two grams of fat. I believe that. And you burn most of that off trying to get it open. <laughs> yeah, I tried to struggle with it. <laughs> Fun fact number six, lobsters can grow up to four feet long and weigh as much as 40 pounds. Okay, I don't believe that. 40 pound lobster. Yeah, I don't believe that. I think I believe that because we had a photograph of one from the Ripley's Aquarium in Gatlinburg. Do you okay. remember seeing that gigantic lobster? Yeah, that was in Ripley. That believe was, it or not? <laughs> no, I don't not. believe it. <laughs> and fun fact number seven, lobsters aren't red. They turn red when they're cooked. Yeah, I believe that. But in nature, they're that. green, yellow, or even can be bright blue. Yes, I've seen that. So. And I've seen all those colors on the lobster, and I know they get very embarrassed when they get put in that hot water. <laughs> get put in that hot water. Well, I'm going to eat that lobster, so get ready. All right, we'll see it when it comes out. Yes. All right, we've got it here. There's my lobster dinner. Awesome. There's Jess. Pretty good fish. There's my lobster. Okay, the first thing I'm supposed to do is take off the, the claw. Okay, I have that. And you're supposed to crack it at the knuckle. Right? I don't know. It looks like it's already been cracked. Yeah, it's already been cracked. Just so. pull the meat out of it. Oh, okay. With the fork. Hey guys, okay. we just had the lobster and it was fun. It was fun eating at the Gateway Lunch Lobster Pound. Lunch Lobster Pound in Trenton, Maine. I asked the guy cooking the lobster a lot about it. I asked the owner some questions about it. I learned all about lobster. And they so learned some about know, Tennessee. Yeah, so if you want to know about this lobster deal, Come to Lunt's Lobster Pound. They'll treat you right and you'll get a, a fresh right out of yeah, the but, bay. Right, but what I was going to say, if they want to know something about lobster, ask me. I'm oh, now a lobster you're expert. You're now a lobster ex expert. Yeah. But you didn't get the lobster. I got the lobster. No, I don't like it. Do you love the lobster? No. <laughs> I love the lobster. I dislike it. Passionately. <laughs> it was fun. Thank you for joining us on our trip to N Newfoundland. 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 And you need to stick with this channel for next video, all right? The next video is exciting. It's, it's difficult, though, because it's the most complicated, best-paying week we will have. It's a complicated run situation, but, but it's going to pay really good yeah it's gonna pay all good and so stick with it's us gonna be um a lot of miles yeah and it's gonna be complicated so we gotta fit we're still figuring out logistically wise yeah but we'll get it done so for cheryl mr dimples mr, mr. bones, bones chinchilla mike, chinchilla mike right here we are need you to subscribe yes and press that like button yeah press the like button and tell your friends about us because we need views yep we need views we need some more subscribers and please join us for our next video coming up you're not going to want to miss it for transport bandits we are out, out. <laughs>